Hey everyone, Jose here at Rick Motec. Today I'm on the APX 3000 doing a quick reset on the triple screen. So I just wanted to bring you along with me and show you how that's done. To get started setting up the triple screens, the first thing you want to do is make sure all your three screens are connected to the back of the computer. Next thing, right click and you're going to enter the graphics card control panel. In this case, we're using NVIDIA. So we're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. This is going to come up with a window uh, with a blank box asking to span displays with surround. Go ahead and apply this. This is now going to open up a new window where you're going to see all three of your screens and you just want to make sure that they're in the right order. Right now, this is showing screen number one as on the left hand side. Um, I want to make my number one screen here in the middle as what the computer is telling me. So we just take it and we can drag it over to the middle. We want to check here that your resolution is not correct. We're using three 1920 by 1080 monitors. So new resolution is going to be 5760 by 1080. These are 60 hertz monitors. So make sure that you're using the correct refresh rate. This is going to now change the displays, move the center display to make my number one screen or my number two screen, I should say. This is now telling the computer that you have one massive screen as opposed to the three individual screens. Once this is complete, close this out. You can close out your NVIDIA control panel or your graphics card control panel. And you want to open up your simulator. In this case, we'll open up iRacing. You're going to see your single screen. And we're going to go into options. And we'll go down into graphics. First thing you want to change, number of screens. We'll move this over to three. And now with the new resolution and the surround enabled, you should be able to come down here and find your new resolution. There's quite a few, so make sure you're selecting the right one. Again, three 1920 by 1080 monitors, 60 hertz. So we're gonna go 5760 by 1080 at 60. Over on the right side of the display section, input the monitor width, including bezel, by measuring your monitor corner to corner, including the bezel. Input the visible width, excluding the bezel, by measuring only the display from corner to corner. Next, input the viewing distance by measuring the distance from your eyes to the center of your screen. This will auto-calculate your field of view when driving. We click done. And now we want to quit this session, relaunch the session. So once the session comes back up and iRacing has had a chance to reset itself, you should now see all three of your screens. If you have any questions at all setting it up, please make sure to leave a comment in the description. Make sure to reach out to us through any social media or email at any time. We're always here to help and we're really looking forward to bringing more of these helpful tips. Once again, my name's Jose here at Rick Motec and I'll see you at the next one. See you later.